Hello! In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can migrate from logical names to permission sets within the Factory Talk Services platform and Factory Talk Asset Center system. Before we begin, let's talk about the differences between logical names and permission sets. Logical names are listed controllers that have security configured within the Factory Talk directory. Logical names are available with Factory Talk Services platform software 2.10 or later and with Studio 5000 Logix Designer Software, version 12 and later. Permission sets are security configurations that can be applied to multiple controllers. If you use a permission set, you can configure the security settings once and they apply to all of the controllers that are using the permission set. Switching from logical names to permission sets reduces messaging requirements to maintain Factory Talk directory synchronization. This can help improve performance for larger systems. Permission sets are available with Factory Talk Services platform software, versions 2.80 or later, and Studio 5000 Logix Designer software, version 28.0.0 or later. It is strongly recommended that you use a permission set to secure a project file. Now that you know more, let's walk through how to switch from logical names to permission sets. This is where to find the logical names for a Factory Talk system. Each controller has an entry if using logical names. Each entry's security properties must be configured individually. This is where to find permission sets. Each permission set needs to have its security individually configured. An advantage to using a permission set is that its configuration can be applied to multiple controllers, so it requires fewer configuration steps when securing controller files. Before we begin, create a backup of your network directory. With the administration console open, navigate to the top left of the network tree and right-click on network. Then select backup and a new window will appear. Here we can specify the archive name. Please note that the unique alphanumerical string you see here is the security authority identifier for this particular Factory Talk system. Feel free to suffix a name to the end of the file name and save the backup. Encryption is optional. As an alternative, you can also create a backup using the Factory Talk Asset Center Disaster Recovery feature. To do so, navigate to the Asset Center client, go to the Schedule tab, and if one doesn't already exist, create a backup schedule for your Factory Talk directory. Once the schedule is available, run the schedule. And confirm it completes successfully. Once complete, a backup of the directory will be saved to the Asset Center database. With the directory successfully backed up, Navigate to the PLC file you'd like to change, from logical names to permission sets, and then navigate to the Archive tab. Left-click on the ACD file, then select Checkout. Hit OK with Get Local Copy checked. The file will open shortly. Once Studio 5000 has fully opened, go online so that the changes can be made without the need to re-download the program. Once online, click on Controller Properties. 
then select the Security tab. Observe that the controller is currently using logical names. To change this, select the Permission Set option, then use the drop-down to select the proper permission set that has the proper security configuration. Hit Apply. You will be prompted with a warning. Please read this and choose appropriately. Then hit OK. Close Studio 5000. Save your local file. And be certain to check the file back into Asset Center. Navigate back to the Administration Console and remove the logical name for the controller that was just changed. Within the Asset Center client, go to the Scheduling tab. And if one doesn't already exist, create a backup schedule for your PLC that you just changed. Once the schedule is available, run the schedule and confirm it completes successfully. Once complete, this will show that communication between Asset Center and the directory using the new security configuration is successful. If the schedule was not successful, double check your settings and compare the logon service name for both the Asset Center agent service and verification service against the new security configuration, and then reattempt. Feel free to confirm that you are still able to check out the file and interact with it normally or according to your new security configuration. This concludes how to migrate logical names to permission sets. Thank you for watching.